Okay, so we'll start with the last stone growing assessment of Ivan. It's all yours, Ivan. You have 20 minutes to present to us your learning curve three, since the beginning of this module with a specific emphasis on the last reflections of the last week. first week in path and the second week in path. So I realized that in the first week I'm very struggling, I'm very insecure because it's the first step I, I took to start my research in the practical way and because I'm still, I found that I'm still very new to um, discovering boredom and also discovering my state and I, I found that I have difficulty on um, clarify the mind state I have in all the tasks and I do not know I haven't find a strategy that can help me to um, to collect my result and the data from all the tasks so I have this different challenge that I faced in the first week. And then I received different feedback that um, like the, you have told me that I've, I've in this kind of situation where I very not clear about what am I doing and I'm not sure where's my goal, I'm not sure where's my direction. And then from the feedback, I try to filter and try to digest. And then I found, I try to find a new way in the second week that I have, which is, I found is more efficient. So in the second week, I try to be a, more organized in compared to the first week. I try to, in the task, I try to immediately note down all the mind state. And then I also try out the um, idea of drawing the map, which I find is quite interesting, and it it, it also helps me to 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 see the whole picture of the the mindset I have for each task. It makes me more clear. And then from this from this exercise from this strategy, I I found that I have build up my own system in clarify and define my own mind state in all the tasks. So from the from Monday I started my first task and I'm I realized I'm still a bit struggle and not very clear of how am I going to define the mind state I will have in that particular time. And then slowly when I practice more and more boring tasks, I found that I have found my own way to to name all the different mindset I have. But until the end, when I try to um, come to a conclusion or try to analyze the result from all of these different experiments, I realized that this map has actually I'm not sure how can I how can I go to another level from using this map. I'm not sure how can this map can bring me to an, another level of this research. So then it, like during the presentation I I I try to use another strategy that have suggested by Pavlos that try to divide them in different categories and I found it is quite helpful for me to make a summary, make a, con a conclusion of the whole process of the whole research and then come to a more concrete summary of result that I gain 
learning from the whole process of research. But at this stage, I'm still there's still some question and that I I'm I'm not sure how am I going to answer those questions like like the, the question that I've state I've mentioned before like I'm not sure is it really possible for a person to be bored with the existence of desire this question is still appear in my head that I have not yet find the answer But I also find that actually the whole journey of these two weeks is very exciting because I can see how from not how how the process from zero it, it slowly build up into something that is more concrete and is somehow finding a new interest for myself. And also, I realized how the feedback section in every end of the weekend, it really helped push me to another, push myself to, um, to think in a certain way, to um, force myself to make, to shape the result that I got from that whole week. It somehow made me feel that I, I'm being pushed and forced and in, a, in order to able to shape, to create a more concrete result from that I gather from the whole week. And this feedback session is really helpful because without this feedback session, I think I will, I'm still in, in this in this level that I'm not sure where I'm going. Maybe I'm still lost in in the forest and I, I can't find the 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 road to go to, to arrive to where I I supposed to or maybe to find the interest of the whole expert whole research. Um, I have some questions for you, Ivan. Um, you sort of replied in the very end, but maybe you can say some more things. How is this research process different to your previous ways of dealing with art projects? It is very, very different. How? Because um, by looking back the previous way, I choreograph dance or creating artwork. I've never been in this situation where I I have this opportunity to research on one thing in and digging in so deeply into it. I we, we don't have this opportunity. We always usually we always work in a very short time and then our goal is to achieve productivity and in this case now it's like you you don't need to worry so much about the result which I think is very good because it's, it, it gives me a freedom to, um, not a freedom like give me a very good space that I can let myself just go for it without concern too many things to, to worry so many things because by worrying so many things it will block it will block possibility to discover something that might be very useful for me so I think so mostly what you're saying 
because you need to put them down on your own later. Huh? Uh, so one of the things that has changed brief, uh, vastly is this space to do research, yes? Mm. Without being worried about the end product. Mm. Anything else? So for example, when you leave from here, and I always stress that out, when you leave from here, what are the things that you would like to replicate when you will make a new place of work? So one is, I need to have some time, some space for me to research before going to the product. What else would you like to have with you that you discovered here as a new way of, or a very helpful way, or, I don't know, supportive, or... I'm not sure it's the right, right answer, but There's I... There's no right or uh, wrong, it's just for you to find, to remember them in the future. I think the big main factor one is that I've mentioned just now the, the, the space and the, the freedom <coughs> and also one thing it helps a lot is the one that I mentioned the feedback session why? because it pushed me to in into a situation where I have to also push myself, force myself to, okay, you have to make decision now or you have to find find a more concrete answer for yourself to clarify things because the one week, the, the five or six days before the feedback session, I can just play around with things, do whatever I like but when you arrive to the weekend, that's the time to, okay, now you have to grab things from what you have explored, from what you have gained. And you have to, okay, make decision. You have to be very strict to yourself and filter all the things that you have gained. And just to grab the important points. And from there, from the important points, you then go to another stage and you try to explore them again and then at the end of the weekend you again grab you filter and you grab the germs from the research anything you might want to share about in many ways you worked collaboratively yeah uh, yes it was an individual product project, but you used somebody else or so many other people, I don't know how many you used, in your experiments. Was that helpful, sometimes helpful, some other times not so helpful? Um, I think for all my, my topic, my research, because actually I tried just two or three times with somebody else together with my research, some are helpful, some is not really helpful because there is one task where, where me and Davide in the t in the tent then we have to stay there as long as possible no, we have to stay there until we heard the car horning sound but I realized that in that task I, I got distracted with having him beside me but then some other tasks because of the design of the task he, he actually helped me to... Yeah, to because me. the real boredom wouldn't have been achieved without David's prank, as, as you called it, in many ways, yeah? So you, you would have never discovered or be able to name that boredom. Mm. But then there are other tasks where his participation was not only uh, not helpful, but actually it could have delayed your process, yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah. So then my question to you would be, um, is it really David's participation that delayed, or is it your way of framing things? Can you maybe a little bit reflect on those experiences? Or is it part of the process that some of the experiments are there to fail so that you understand what is important so what's going on i need to understand a little bit more on this participation of the other person i would like i would take back the example of the two people in 10 so 
first I I thought that it it actually didn't makes me arrive to boredom and it somehow it creates some distraction for me well, having him in together in the tent because it's, it's also the design of the task but but from this experience then I realized how can I improve the task how can I improve how how should I fix it how should I change it how should I modify the task in order for me to achieve something so it is good to have because this is the task is the second task so it's good to realize this problem in the beginning mm -hmm. and then I can improve them yeah so what you're saying is maybe the experiment failed but the process was successful because it was a learning curve mm -hmm. for you that's important to remember yeah do not forget that experiments are there to fail if the scientist is successful with the first experiment, something is wrong with his theory, you should always know. It means he hasn't made it very clear yet. Um, what other particles, what other um, elements are there in your learning curve? I mean, you started with theory in the beginning and then you went into practice. How was that? And then you had to come back into theory for some reason today. I thought that these three steps actually, um, when the transition from the first step, the research, or more in the theoretical aspect, the transition to the second step of the practical, it actually, um, <coughs> I realized there's a huge gap between both of them because when I go into practical research I somehow just let go all the theoretical aspect and I just go into my own experience in that two weeks and in order to understand for myself how this game should, should happen but until the end when I started to prepare for this presentation and then only I started to, okay, now it's time for me to gra grab back all the, the sources that I found before the practical research. So I started to grab back and then try to link them up together into a more concrete thing because it, I somehow forget about the resources from my from before the practical research and then now because for the presentation okay I, I need to grab them back and then I realized actually this way it also helped me to make things more concrete in the end of the day so keeping it more close together if possible mm -hmm. okay that's good don't forget that uh, I have one last question maybe which I, I guess you respond them on your own really, so I don't really need to give feedback. Um, but um, what about uh, the amount of work? How do you manage the amount of work? How did you manage here the amount of work? I look at the first week, I realized that um, because the first week is actually very struggle for me, so I didn't really do enough of tasks in the first week because maybe I tried to um, make myself more organized of the space, discover the space and then when then only I started to go more pay more attention into the the experiment. So in the first week it's not so effective I feel. But in the second week, because the experience and also the feedback session, from this combination, it gives me, okay, to more have a clear mind of what and how I should do in the second week. It is more clear and I, I, I find the way more clear, the path is more clear for me that 
okay, what I was, what I want, what I need to do, how I, how I need to do the task, and what am I looking for? So, so how is it more clear? What made it more clear the second week? Is it just because it's the second week and of course the second week you have more to work on or did something else happen in your way of working that changed things? Maybe the one of the reason is after the feedback session I have more clear idea of how should I do the experiment and also from the previous exper experience of some tasks is not working some task is not not efficient, not effective. So from there, I started to okay. Tell myself, um, in this week, I mean, how can I modify the task? That's why I have repeat few of the tasks twice again in the second week because I know it is not successful. And I somehow discover maybe there's other way to make it. Okay, so what you're saying is you're having a certain build up of information mm. that comes also through the feedback. Yeah, so the first week you had less, the second week you have more information to work on, and it all starts making sense. And my feedback on that it is also that because actually we had three feedback sessions if we really look at it mm -hmm. so far. We had the very first day when we arrived here, or the second day when we arrived here, which was a feedback on all your theoretical kind of processing, and then the next week, which was on your first practice week, and then yesterday we had some other feedback and so on. Um, and the thing is, you say, oh, in the first week I didn't have a lot of feedback to work on. Well, that's exactly what you presented us on the first day. Yeah, so you received feedback on what to work on the first week. Mm. And actually, we, for you, if I remember correctly, we had set up specific questions for you to respond when you go and do your tasks. And you, I don't think you really understood what we asked you at the time. But when you went into the tasks, you understood mm. that these are very important things you need to solve before mm. anything. So that was the point when you really realized the gravity of those questions. And then you came that weekend and said, I have these problems now that you were saying last weekend. What do I do? And then we worked on what you had already made, so you gave us a more concrete pot of work, and we could help in the molding of this statue, whatever we call it. And then you had something more concrete to work on. So my, my feedback is, whenever you go for feedback, be as precise and as concrete as possible, because it will fasten up things. But there are these moments also that we all need to acknowledge where, fit, where your, the work you will present cannot be more concrete than what it is. Mm. It's always that by the end the thing will come together. You know, that's why it starts like that. So do not worry. This is part of the process I want to say. It doesn't mean that from the first week you could be successful. Otherwise you knew the mm. project already. Yeah. I think it's, it's understandable that in the first week there is a massive gap, you're lost, and in the second week it makes more sense, and if we had one more week it might make some more sense even, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I said the last question, but I have one more last question. Um, how did the presentation help? I found that actually, maybe not the presentation but the prepare preparation okay. of the presentation like I say just now it actually round up the whole the whole from the beginning of the first step of doing theoretical research and the practical research in here and to combine them together and also combine together with the result of these two weeks and then because even from this two weeks, we, we, we do practical research, we come up with something, but it's still very loose. So, by preparing this presentation, it helped to, okay, gather everything down and really make it into just one point for myself. Okay, now this is it. This is the main thing that I actually...
actually searching for. So it was support, it was helpful somehow. Mm -hmm. okay. So maybe in the future you could have something like that. Yeah. Similar. Yeah. So you feel that if you if we finished before the presentation happens, maybe something wouldn't have mm, yeah. been put together. Because it is still quite loose if we don't do the presentation. Okay. Good. And for me, it's uh, uh, it's very clear what you're saying. I, mean, I could say some more things to you, but I'll let David say one or two more things. And then we're well, I have one thing to say because, yeah. I mean, I think you you have actually done a great job analyzing your process. I have a question. Do you know... Um, Because what 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 I heard from your process at the beginning, right? Before coming to PAP, it sounded to me as if you were doing like a solo research, to be honest. And then when we arrived here, it felt like somehow a little bit you were, you know, really reaching for some support that was more than for the research itself. It it seemed to me like an emotional support that you needed in order to start the research. So sometimes I felt invited in the tasks more as an emotional support rather than for, you know, the, the, the usefulness of my presence there. Mm -hmm. And that's also why in the first big feedback I told you I think you should push yourself and do your thing, your tasks by yourself. Because I saw how, you know, it was distracting. And I knew if I can express that in advance somehow that I was going to distract you in those tasks. In, in the logic I had in my mind of your research, I thought so that I was going to distract you somehow. Do you think it, that I'm having like um, a, a, a totally different lecture or is there this emotional component in, in, in the, um, the reasons why you were asking me to participate? Actually, it happens um, very randomly because even for myself my first idea is most of the task is a solo research and then because we had the talk mm. and you're also suggesting things like maybe we can do tasks together mm. and it benefits both of us and that is that's the moment that okay I realize okay maybe we can do something together then it gets to that stage that we started to do something together. Mm. But to be honest, in the first week, because I'm still very new to this space and I'm not feeling very comfortable with the space, and I somehow really, I think you mentioned the support. I now I only realize that actually. It somehow makes me feel a bit more secure mm -hmm. with having mm -hmm. someone beside. So don't forget that. This is a very important thing that accidentally it happened. Uh, it accidentally happened that David was here. And actually, I think in many ways you have a very good relationship with each other and there was very little negative energy. I mean, something that you, you need to consider also. Uh, like I didn't see any of you resisting the experience and you know if one resists the experience it will take you all back somehow uh, so that kind of environment that you created and you've demanded in many ways so you've asked I don't know how you how it was a demand or an ask or a beg whatever it was but that kind of support was there is it necessary